Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion from March 12th to the 26th. First, I want to talk about the pattern and what's going to be happening a little bit. We have the Arctic Oscillation right here. This is European Ensembles, and it's strongly positive, but this time the positive direction will support the positive, um, very warm temperature departures in the plains in the east. Um, there will be a turn to strong negative, and that will bring a flip in the temperatures for next week. And the upper pattern will go through transition with a storm uh, behind a storm that's moving through um, the country. That'll be the main weather maker, and I'll get to that later. And following week across the country. Then we have a uh, negative EPO. Let me go to the other one. Becoming negative. And... This, uh, this will set up next week, and this will lead to a strong upper high over or near Alaska and Northwest Canada, and I'll show you the models. Further east, the north flow will push colder air into the central states at first, and then shifting towards the northeast. So these warm temperatures that the east have been experiencing are not going to last. And, you know, you, don't, you can't expect it, you know, um, in March, you know how March weather can be, it can turn it on a dime. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for March 12th to, 20, to the 16th. And uh, we have a ridge that remains here near Alaska. This will build later on. We have an upper low here. We have a trough in the west, ridge in the east. We have a ridge down here pumping up the ridges here. And here's our upper low, or what's left of the polar vortex over northern Canada. So, um... During this period, we're going to get to the, to the forecast now. We have this um, system that will be moving through, um, slowly through the southwest and then into the plains. And like I said, this will be the main weather producer as we go through the period. You see right here developing here in the plains. Here's Sunday. We'll have snow here on the northwest side, rain, possible severe weather down in this region here um, in the southern plains. And this system will support enhanced rain and high elevation snows over Southern California and, and parts of the Great Basin. You can see it right there. And um, the system will, will cause a couple days of an upslope flow that could bring potential for significant snows in the central Rockies and the Plains. So we'll go through times you see snow is moving into the Plains, then it pushes east. And Oh, what is this? The GFS shows mixed precipitation occurring over the Mid Atlantic. So that's, you can notice where the 540 line is. It's through central Jersey. So that's the um, GFS. And we look at the models here. This is European. At the same time, 540 line is further to the south across southern Jersey. And then we have the European ensembles. It has pretty much the 540 line here. So this is something to watch later on in the period, whether a secondary develops or what. So we have to watch this as we go later on in the uh, later in this period. Okay, we're going to look at the period for March 17th to 21st. And we have an upper low here. over northern Canada extends into the northeast and we have a ridge that builds here towards Alaska and we have a nearly zone of flow across much of the country. Miles of good agreement, just a few slight differences in the strengths of the anomaly fields. So I'm forecasting for this period, I'm forecasting below normal temperatures from the plains to the Pacific coast and I'm calling for anomalies of four to six degrees below normal and we have above normal temperatures east of the Mississippi River with anomalies of at least six degrees above normal for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for much of this region here probability of occurrence 35 to 40 percent and we have above normal precipitation for this region here probability of occurrence is 35 percent now we're going to look at the period for uh, March 22nd to the 26th. Now we start seeing things happening. 
we have a ridge here that builds towards Alaska here, and we have our upper low here over northern Canada. Above, no, below normal heights are forecast for much of the nation with a zone of flow, and we have our ridge here in the west. So we look at the various models. And on forecast, and for this forecast period, that's the wrong map. I'm forecasting above normal temperatures west of the divide, and I'm forecasting anomalies of four to six degrees above normal, below normal temperatures forecast for this region, and I'm forecasting anomalies of four, uh, two to four degrees or a little bit more below normal. And for precipitation, I'll bring this map back. Below normal precipitation forecast for the plains in the western states, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent. And above normal precipitation forecast for the southeast and the mid Atlantic region, probability of occurrence is 35%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion from March 12th to 26th. Thanks for coming to Jim Only's World of Weather and have a good day.